Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brandon here for RC Nightmare. In front of me I have our very, very stock low C5T. In my hand I have some upgrades. We got some steering and brake upgrades from TGN Industries. That's TGNDistributing.com. This is the Team Chase upgraded drag link and the Bartolone Racing disc brake. So, what we're going to be upgrading is the drag link on this guy. On the stock setup we have a problem with binding. So they have steel bushings with steel bolts. So it's a steel on steel scenario which causes a lot of binding and a lot of slop. So over time, those wear out, they bind to each other, they chew into each other. We're going to get rid of that. Team Chase has made a really nice upgrade. We have captured ball bearings, so there's no bushings, which means no slop. Full-on ball bearings, and they have nylon spacers to make up for that extra height, so we know that we're not going to have any slop uh, laterally as well. This is a billet piece, nice engraved unit, and they have extended hardware. The hardware that's included with the stock doesn't really go through uh, enough threads, you know, kind of wears out, it'll pull out over time. You might have problems with it ripping out on you and stripping, so... Here we have a long bolt and nut setup, so it's going to tighten up our steering and make it more precise. So we're going to install that for you. And the Bartolone Racing disc brakes, these are nice. The stock disc brakes are just stamped out. They don't have a whole lot of cooling holes. These have more cooling holes. These are laser cut. They just look cooler too. It looks like a saw blade, so we're going to pop those on for you too. Let's get started on the drag link right away. Okay, here we have the drag link and the two shoulder screws that hold it on. We just want to remove these first. Okay, I have my shoulder screws out. You can see it's just a steel screw, and we have the metal bush in there. You can see how short the threads are. The drag link is simply going to pull out the side here. I'm going to first pull this bush in so I don't lose it, like that. Pull out the old drag link. There's the new piece. You can see on the new one now we have ball bearings that are captured with C-clips. And on the back side we have a nylon spacer to get rid of all the slop and space this out properly. So again, on top of this, this being a billet piece, again, we're going to look at the old hardware compared to the new. New hardware, long threads, it's going to go all the way through the bell crank and get nylon lock nuts on the other side. You can see how short this one is. You can see the difference there. No chance of it stripping out of the plastic bell crank post, and there's no chance of it uh, just coming loose over time. So they have that lock nut on the other side. So I'm going to install these right away. The drain link simply slides in place like so. We'll put the new hardware right through the top. All right, guys, I put through the new stainless steel bolts. You can see on the bottom side, the nut captures it, so there's no chances coming out or stripping. This is really, really smooth steering, no binding at all, no slop. It's got rid of that slop completely and within those bushings there, so great upgrade. Again, from Team Chase, we got that through TGN Industries. That's TGNDistributing.com. Now we're going to move on to installing our new brake pads, or I'm sorry, brake discs from Bartolone Racing. Let's get started. Okay guys, going to replace the brake disc. First step is to remove the whole center differential assembly. There's four bolts on the bottom of the chassis that hold it in. We have the two brake links here, and we added our brake stiffeners. These are torque rods that prevent the servo from squeezing towards the brake assembly, mushing your brakes. So I'm going to remove these two guys here. If you've done that upgrade, it's on a previous video. These two set screws here to let those rods loose, and the four on the bottom. Okay, I've removed my four lower bolts. Okay, and I've also removed my two torque arms here on the top. Those bolts come out. And I've loosened the two set screws so I can pull up my brake links like so. And now this whole center diff and brake assembly can just be removed like so. Okay, now I have my center differential and brake assembly removed from the truck. And we can see that we need to remove these pins here that hold our brake pads on. Now before I remove those, because they are adjustable, I want to check the gap between the disc and the pads themselves. And all I've done here for a feeler gauge, if you will, is take a piece of cardboard, fold it over, and kind of felt out the gap there. It's about a one millimeter gap. This fits snugly in there. I want to take note of that so when I put it back together, I can save myself a lot of time adjusting these pins later. Now you can tighten these up and loosen them, but when it's on the car, it's just a little bit more difficult. So I'll use this when I put them back on. I've checked ahead of time, know this is the right width, just to save myself some time later. So we're going to remove these guys. They're 10 millimeter nuts. Okay, I've removed my brake pad pins and pads, and now we can just slide the old rotors off. These discs are just stamped metal, nothing fancy, not a whole lot of cooling slots. If we compare it to our nice and shiny, these are laser cut Bartolone brake discs, so we're going to pop these bad boys on. Nice tight fit because they're brand new. Like so, and now we can pop our pads on. When I put these pads on, I'm going to flip them over so i got a fresh surface to work with. Give it a chance to kind of wear into the new pads. These got a little bit of marring on them from the old pads, so we'll put these guys back on. And again, 
I'm going to make sure that I check the spacing with my feeler gauge. Okay, I got my pad pins installed. I've checked the clearance with my mock feeler gauge. It's very important to make sure that the distance is the same as before. And not only that, but you want to make sure that it's even all the way across. So you don't want the gap between where you can see the gap right here. You don't want it tapered off to one side, one way or the other. It's going to be perfectly straight. Otherwise, you're going to be biting on only one side of the disc. It's going to wear on even. You're going to destroy it real quick. So I got both those spaced out just like I like them. This thing's ready to install back in the vehicle. Well, that does it, guys, for this install. We got a new Barcelona disc brakes in, and we have our new drag link from Chase, Team Chase. We got these all from TNG Industries. Again, that's tngdistributing.com if you want to pick them up for yourself. They got a whole bunch of stuff for the 5T that we're going to be installing for you yet, too. We bought uh, quite a few upgrades, so keep a lookout for our future videos for the upgrade for this thing. If you have any questions about what we put on here today, comment on down below. If you like what you see please check out our website it's rcnightmare.com and hey if you guys got anything you want to sell or you want to buy some cheap rcs check out a brand new website it's called buyrcstuff.com we just did a bunch of videos on that it's like an ebay mecca of rc only so you can check out what people got on there list it for yourself it's real cheap it's like a buck something to list your own stuff so if you got things to get rid of you want to free up some space for new toys like this stuff check out that website buyrcstuff.com thanks again for watching this video guys we'll see you real soon